This is the story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. A story that took place long, long time ago. A star curries across the dusky, pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he carries a pair of brothers. Suddenly, a shadow appears in the gap between the clouds and races towards the stork with blinding speed. Screech! The babies are mine. Whoa! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. into the darkness from which it came from. A second baby falls undetected towards the open sea. Oh no! M meanwhile, down at Yoshi's Island, home of all Yoshis, it's a lovely day and Yoshi's taking a walk. Huh? Suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls into his back. Fortunately, the baby seems to be just fine. Well, something else fell alongside with the baby. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe a stork was using it. Yoshi can't figure out this strange situation. He decides to talk to his friends about it. Ah! Kamek the evil Magikoopa who kidnapped the baby. quickly dispatches his gang of nasty toadies but he discovers that he missed the other baby Yoshi casually heads back to the other Yoshis completely unaware of the danger close at hand Kamek forces are actively searching the island. Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? Alright you guys! So yeah, this is my next let's play of Yoshi's Island. And yeah, I... I don't really know what made me wanna... I don't know, like, I just want to play... A Game Boy Advance game just because I've been having a lot of problems lately with you know like with the whole like internet situation the virus so yeah so just letting you guys know that the virus is gone everything is settled and I'm just playing a Game Boy Advance game just because I want to play a game that's kind of simple and yeah I decided to choose this because this is actually one of my favorite games of all time and yeah pretty excited to be playing this game and without further ado let's get started welcome to Yoshi's Island a paradise where all the Yoshis live they're all in a, in, in up oh my gosh I can't read today sorry you guys they're all in an uproar over the baby that fell from the sky Wait, it seems though the baby knows where he wants to go. The, bom the bond between the brothers tells each other where the other one is. 
the Yoshis decide to carry him on his destination via a uh, rel relay system. And so begins the new adventure of the Yoshis and Baby Mario. So yeah, you guys, I'm pretty excited to be playing this game, and it has been far too long since I last recorded, so I'm sorry if I'm, I don't know, I'm sorry if, like, my commentary and everything, oh, okay, sorry, we have more to read. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown of the timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamix toadies will swoop and kidnap Baby Mario, and the more stars you collect, the safer you'll be. And once Baby Mario is safe, the timer will count back up to 10. Complete the stage by passing Baby Mario to the next helpful Yoshi. And yeah, that's basically the main gimmick of this game. And yeah, as I was saying, yeah, it's... Like, it's been far too long since I let's played. I'm sorry my commentary isn't exactly the best. It has been a while. It's been at least, like... Like, around, like, half a month at least since I last recorded. And yeah, and I'm... Not really sure how often I'm going to be able to record. Of course, I'm going to be able to record as much as I could. But it's college has been giving me a lot of work lately, so... Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't really upload this next Let's Play right away. And also because I have to make, like, a whole bunch of thumbnails and stuff, and... That always takes up some time, so... Yeah. But yeah, you guys, I, I'm just so excited to be playing this game. This is actually, well, I think I already mentioned this already, but it is actually my, I have to say, like, my either second or third favorite Mario game, well, in the entire series. And, yeah. So, yeah, so basically the controls, A is to jump, you hold A to do your jump kick, which is really useful. And yeah, you use the R button to throw eggs, the L if you don't want the cursor to move, and B's to cancel that, and B's to also, well, to use your tongue, you press on down to swallow, and you also have your ground pound, and yeah, that's basically the controls for this game. So yeah, this is actually going to be my very first, well, it's not really a blind let's play, but it's going to be semi-blind. And yeah, I'm just giving you guys a heads up that this isn't going to be a 100% let's play. Of course, I'm going to try to get as much stuff as I could. But if I can't or if something's too much of a pain to get, then I'm probably not going to get it. So yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's just some of the stuff that's mentioning is just obvious just like it just said that get baby Mario before the time runs out like I'm sorry like half of the stuff that they mention at the beginning of the game is just common sense and yeah Let's try to get that one up oh crap huh. there we go so yeah so Basically, these things over there, they give you advice, but I'm not going to go talk to them because, you know, the, the beginning of these games, they just talk about stuff that are really obvious. Like, they just talk about, like, oh, move the boulder and stuff, and... I don't know, I want to try to get an egg into that flower. Because it gives us extra star points, and I want those. Oh my gosh, so the first episode, I'm already failing. This is pretty bad. Okay, Han. Shoot now. Oh, come on! Okay, forget about it. I'm not even going to bother trying to get that. So yeah, so I'm pretty sure I already mentioned it. Yeah, if you get that, you get extra star points. But yeah, this is going to be 100%, so... It's not much of a problem to get this flower. And yeah, these flowers are actually really useful. You guys, well, I'm not going to say what they do, but you guys will see it at the end of this level. And yeah, I'm sorry if, like, I'm not exactly doing the best. I'm playing this on a keyboard, so yeah. It's 
It's actually kind of tricky playing this game on the keyboard. But I'll get used to it. Wait, I want to get these. Oh, come on. Wow, we missed out on the stars. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm... Oh, yeah, if you guys are wondering when I'm recording this, I'm recording this at the 12th, which is Thursday. And, well, since I have to do, like, thumbnails and stuff, I'm probably gonna get this uploaded probably this weekend and stuff. And, yeah, I hope you guys like the next game that I decided to let's play and stuff. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I have some bad news for you guys. Basically, I'm not gonna be able to really LP PSP games. It's because I wanted to play like, some Bleach PSP games, but I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. Just because I found out that it was actually... That's actually the reason why I got the virus, is because I downloaded Bleach Heat the Soul 7. And yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to download any games like that anymore. So yeah, um, I'm just really sorry that I'm not going to be able to do that. And yeah. Oh yeah, I need to get to explain the flower. So yeah, basically the flower, if the uh, cursor lands on the flower, basically you get to play this mini game. And the mini game, if I'm not mistaken, it allows you to get one ups. And yeah. Oh my gosh, I just noticed I get so easily sidetracked. I ain't even like. Okay, so basically, yeah, like this is semi blind and. Yeah, I already mentioned that like three times, but yeah, bas Wow! Okay, that's bad, where are you failing? So yeah, so basically, the parts that I went up to is... I went up to the final world. I forgot what section I was at, but yeah, I didn't make it... Well, yeah, I didn't really exactly beat the final boss or anything, so that's gonna be completely blind to me. But yeah, this part, I know what to do. Just avoid the chain chomps. And yeah. Oh, but there's this really intense part later on in the game where this chain chomp chases you. It's actually my favorite part in the entire game. It's so cool. So yeah, I'm not sure whether these poles give you anything. Uh, okay, yeah, these are checkpoints. Yeah, it's just like explaining that those are checkpoints. That's it. It's really straightforward. So yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get that shy guy. So yeah, so I'm gonna try to get this up. Okay, yeah, you can't swallow those ones. So yeah, so I'm not sure if this Let's Play is gonna be based on, I guess, like, sections of worlds, or I don't know. Like, I really don't know what to name this episode, if it's gonna be like, 1-1 and 1-2, or... I, I have no idea. So yeah, so basically... Yeah, you get to transform into stuff in this game, like, you get to transform into a helicopter, a submarine and stuff, and... I, I don't know, I've always liked this game better than... The first Super Mario World, just because, I don't know, I like it, but I don't know, it's just not exactly my favorite. I, I don't know, I just find that, like, some stuff in it, I don't know, it could have been done better. Like, like, I'm not hating on it, I love the first Super Mario World, but just, I love this one so much better. But, I have to say, probably, my, I don't know, like, the setback to the first one, you could say, is that... I find that the cape is kind of hard to control because the tanuki suit is kind of easier since you just press that one button to fly and with the cape it's just, I don't know, it's a lot harder to control. So yeah, I gotta see how long I've been recording this for. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this one last level and then I'm gonna end this episode off. Okay, so yeah, let's do this level. 
if I'm not mistaken, I think this might be the one with the puffs. I'm not sure, but no, no, I don't think it is. But I'm so glad I'm like finally playing this game and stuff, cause like I don't know, like it, like it's a really good game and all, but it's just that like I don't know, these are one of the games that I never really like came around into like beating and yeah. Like, I could have beat this on my own time, but I don't know, I just found that it'd be a lot more interesting doing this semi-blind than actually beating this game and stuff, and yeah. Yeah, you guys, like, I, I don't know, I don't really have much to say, though, like, I've already talked about how much I, oh, crap, see, as I was saying, yeah, like, um, I love this game, oh, let's try to get this box, yeah, there's many, oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah, these plants are really annoying. Yeah, I thought that those were actually the plants that actually get Yoshi high and stuff, but no, I was thinking of something else. But yeah, you guys will see those soon enough. I want to get that key. There we go. Okay, so I think we should actually almost... Oh my gosh. I think this level's almost done. I'm not sure. But yeah, this let's play... It's actually almost blind, though, because, like... It's been the longest time since I played this game, too, so... I completely forgot about this section of the level, actually. Wait, I want to go back up there? Come on... Freaking stupid boulder, come on. And yeah, and another thing that I want to try to do too, though, is... I don't know, like, I want to try to, like... I can't really guarantee this, but, like... I'm going to try not to swear as much. I know it's going to be really hard for me to do, since I, I get, like, really frustrated sometimes while playing games. But yeah, I'm going to try my best. Like I said, I'm not making any guarantees, but yeah. Because I don't know, like, I've just... I've watched a bit of my videos, and I've just noticed, I I really swear a lot, and... And who knows who's watching my video, like, I don't know, like, some kids could be watching my video and stuff. And, uh, I don't know, I just find that it'd be a lot better if, like, I don't swear as much. <laughs> I can't make any guarantees though, that's for sure. And it depends on which game I'm playing too. If I'm playing something like... I don't know, like maybe like God of War or something. Then I'm gonna swear just because... I I'm sorry, but kids shouldn't be watching God of War. So yeah. But yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do for this LP. I'm gonna try not to swore as much. I don't know. I'm gonna be very frustrated during some parts of it. I know I will, but yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. So yeah, so we're at the end of the level now, and I want to show you guys the bonus. So hopefully we get a star. I mean, uh, flower. And yeah, if you guys can't tell, this is the Game Boy Advance version, and not the SNES version. I don't know, I want to play the GBA version, just because I find it a lot more convenient. And yeah. I don't know, I just find that the Visual Boy Advance is so much easier to work than the... I think it's called ZNES, I forgot what was the name of it. 
So yeah, let's hit this. Okay, well, so much for getting that bonus. And... Yeah, you know what? I think this episode's been long enough. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to go into the first castle of the game. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this LP so far. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.